dear fifth semester with you students i welcome you all into my another video hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for the upcoming subject that is research methodology and ipr right so subject code is brm k double five seven so it is common to all branches syllabus is same so you can refer this passing package i have collected some super important questions even though uh, there is a vast syllabus it might seem vast for most of the students but let me tell you uh, you can easily pass the subject by this much portion okay so if you are watching this video so you are determined to pass and trust me you can absolutely pass the subject with ease over there only thing is you need to be smart over here so let me discuss over here the super important questions model wise so first of all we have model one which is a passing module where you have to cover these important questions like define research and explain its significance in engineering uh, what are the key objectives of engineering research and how does motivation influence engineering research next super important question is differentiate between fundamental and applied research with examples how do you identify and formulate a worthwhile research problem explain the ethical principles that engineers should follow in research another important one is what are the different types of research misconduct what measures can be taken to prevent research misconduct and what are the common ethical issues related to authorship in research publications explain plagiarism and its consequences in engineering research ninth one we have explained research flow cycle with a neat diagram briefly explain engineering research process with a block diagram right so i have taken 10 10 important questions otherwise there is a possibility of 20 questions 30 questions from each and every module but i have taken here uh, only 10 questions okay i have reduced it to 10 so that uh, you will feel comfortable in the examination in acing this particular subject next one we have passing module second uh, what is a literature review explain the difference between new knowledge and existing knowledge in research how do analysis and uh, synthesis help in understanding uh, prior research what are the bibliographic databases and how are they useful in research fourth one we have compare web of science google and google scholar in terms of research effectiveness fifth one we have what are the key strategies for conducting an effective research for effective search for literature sixth one we have explained the concept of technical reading what is the importance of critical and creative reading in uh, research what are the best practices for taking notes while reading uh, technical content how should mathematical concepts and algorithms be read and understood effectively ninth one we have here explained the concept of knowledge flow through uh, citations uh, with examples what should be acknowledged in research publications and last one we have what are data sheets what are the man functions and attributes of citations this is all about your model second which is a passing module next one uh, coming to the model third where syllabus is very vast but i have taken here some super important questions like what is intellectual property and how does it contribute to economic and cultural development and uh, second one we have explained the role of ip governance in protecting innovation discuss the history and origin of intellectual property in india what are the major amendments uh, in ip laws and acts in india what are the essential conditions for obtaining patent protection how do you decide whether to patent an invention or not what rights are associated with patents explain the step-by-step -step process of patenting an invention what are the different forms required for a patent application how can patents be commercialized for business purposes right next three questions we are here uh, that is uh, can a worldwide patent be obtained explain the process what are utility models and how do they differ from patents what are the inventions eligible for patenting and uh, which are the matters considered as a non patentable right so this is all about your model third coming to the model four we are having here what are the different classes of copyrights what are the criteria for obtaining copyright protection who owns the copyright of a creative work what rights does an author have uh, under copyright law explain copyright infringement why is copyright infringement considered as a criminal and uh, cognizable offense what is the process of copyright registration in india what are the judicial powers of the register of copyrights okay so first of all let me tell you over here you don't need to remember the answers at all whatever are there in the notes or whatever the availability is there okay so you should first try to understand the concepts in your own convenient language whether it is english whether it is uh, hindi whether it is Kannada. right first of all try to understand the concepts then you can easily write down in your own words as far as examinations are concerned so better to write down the point wise answers for this particular subject so that you will get more score next one we have what is india's uh, copyright profile and how does it compare globally define indian work under copyright law what is joint authorship and how is ownership shared define trademark what are the eligibility criteria for trademark registration what are the different classifications of trademarks who can apply for a trademark in india last two questions we are having explained the step-by-step -step process for trademark registration discuss the famous case of coca-cola 
company versus Bislery International Private Limited. Coming to the model fifth, again we have 10 questions. What are the eligibility criteria for industrial design protection? What are the rights associated with industrial designs? What are the types of industrial designs that are non-protectable under Indian law? Explain the procedure for registering industrial designs in India. Why is prior art search necessary before applying for industrial design and registration? Fourth one we have I explained the case of Apple versus Samsung Electronics and its significance in industrial design law. Define the term geographical indicators. Uh, what are the rights given to uh, GI holders? How are geographical indications identified and registered in India? What are the classes of geographical indications in India? Seventh one we have explained the procedure for registering a GI in India. Discuss the case study of the curcuma that is turmeric patent. Next one we have analyzed the Basmati patent case and its impact on patent law. List the important forms pertaining to industrial design. So this is all about your research methodology subject and I will tell you over here that is VTU has intentionally given you four days gap for the subject so that you can prepare well and try to prepare your own notes as much as possible that you will easily clear the subject with the flying colors so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you so much